Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with a brand new Weiss Schwartz product opening today. We do have a box of the new Bofri, don't want to get hurt, so I'll max out my defense. And that title is quite a mouthful, so from here on out I'll just say Bofri. Although I can't really give the title grief, because if I was in a virtual world, uh, I also would max out my defense. I don't like taking any kind of damage in any games that I play, so I, I feel like this is pretty relatable, even though I've never seen the show. But I'm excited to check this on out, because I know a lot of you are very highly anticipating this release, especially and in who actually grabbed some boxes for tomorrow night's live stream because we do have some boxes available for personal case did actually have a sealed case this was one extra loose box but we've also been selling some boxes in store as well so these are going actually quite quickly for a brand new release that already seems to be pretty expensive but i'm excited to go ahead and get started i do actually have a cheat sheet pulled up here do have strictly broken tcg's website up because they do have a lot of singles i know some people are using strictly broken as the new price guide for whites as jk tcg did shut down with the release of data live so if we pull anything crazy i'll look and i'll reference prices off of there but let's see what we'll find like i said this is a loose box so if we pull any kind of ssp or sb it doesn't affect what's in those boxes listed on our website but i would love to pull one nonetheless so let's just go ahead and get started here by snapping us into the corner and let's check out english edition both free of course does have 20 packs per box so let's just go ahead and get started do have my handy dandy scissors i was about to start the video over if i didn't but i do they're right there i can see them so let me go ahead and grab those and hopefully unlike that video prior to this one tonight the tops bundesliga chrome soccer hopefully none of these cards are miscut because that doesn't seem like that'd be a good weiss card uh, i know sometimes with sports cards people like miscuts i personally don't see the appeal i want my cards to look nice but more power to the people that like it. Sometimes miscuts, especially for things like magic, are very expensive. But for me personally, if a wise card was miscut, I wouldn't want it. But we have Charisma, me, for our promo. It was me, Dio. Not even wearing my Dio shirt. Wearing my Gara shirt today. I actually matched my eyeshadow to it, but you guys can't really see it. Anyways, I just thought I'd bring it up. I meant to mention it in my Instagram post, and I forgot. And I don't want to edit it, because I like the caption, so... Figured I'd go ahead and get that out of my system at one point tonight. All right, here we go. First pack. The animation style of here is cute. Oh, they're very cute. We have our first double R Saint Misery. Yeah, but I unfortunately don't know too much about Bofuri, except that the show itself is popular. But I really like the style of animation from what I'm seeing. Also on the Weiss front, new product went up for order. Look at that turtle. That is adorable. We have a rare event bonus, Maple. But Sword Art Elysiization Volume 2 went up for order. Bossman and I did put in for five total cases. So when that product releases later this year, we'll of course have some openings here on the channel and boxes available for personal breaks as well. So that, that's what's new on the Weiss front. Uh, Elysiization Volume 2 went up for order today. Haven't seen anything else pop up just quite yet. Atrocity, Maple. Hopefully we will find a two foil box here. Sometimes you do just get boxes with one foil. Really like these chibis. Double R Longsword, Kasumi. Delar, Young Genius, Kanade. Rare Best Friends, Friends, Maple and Sally. This is necessarily a weird observation, but cutting open the packs with scissors, they feel more sturdy. The packs themselves don't feel as, I don't want to say loose, but easier to glide the scissors along without feeling like it's wobbly. Not sure if anyone else understands what I'm talking about, but the packs feel a bit more sturdy than what I've been opening up recently, which has been Fate Grand Order. It's been a 
while since I've opened Data Live. I don't quite remember what that felt like. But we finished off all of our Konosuba the movie boxes recently and also went through a lot of fake grand orders. So I don't know if they just changed, perhaps the manufacturing of the packs. Also, we've been opening up some Bang Dream Volume 2. Definitely feels a bit different than those products. Not the cards, just the packaging. Ooh, what's that? We have SR, Event Bonus, Maple. I like her hat. Since I have the tab open, it's actually sorted from high to low price-wise. Let's look for this Maple. Event Bonus. Maple Foil looks to be about $6.62 on Strictly Broken. Really like her hat. Now, of course, we do list all of our Y singles on TCG Player, so tend to be around the TCG market price, but usually it's odd. TCG Player is weird. Sometimes they won't even have full Y sets up, like all the cards listed by like release date. Sometimes you got to wait a while. Like I remember Bossman actually opened up a lot of Mob Psycho, and he was trying to list singles, and there just wasn't some cards just weren't listed on TCG Player. And actually, when we were opening up back in the day, uh, we were opening up Persona 5. That was pre-channel. Pre-channel, Persona 5 the set came out. There's like one SR that just never got listed on TCG Player. So we just have this SR that we can't sell because there's no listing. It's very odd. But it's cool, actually. Shortly after our personal break started, we actually had one leftover box of Persona 5. And someone uh, ordered it, and we did actually find an SP in that box of Persona 5. So that was really fun. And it was a card that the person really liked. I don't remember. It was one of the girls. I think the girl with the orange hair and the giant robot, if that makes sense. And apparently it was quite expensive, too, so that was very fun. So if you look in some older live stream somewhere on the channel, there is a Weiss opening of Persona 5. Also, there is a Weiss open. There's a one box Joe. Someone just opened a box of JoJo because they just wanted to see what it looked like, and they hit the uh, the SSB Giorno. Multicolored Sally, double R. We've had some pretty crazy Weiss pulls here on the channel. Versatile, Frederica. Rare. Hopefully we find a second foil here. Guildmaster Maple. Flare Excel Me Double R Loving Sacrifice Maple. Endless Exploration is down to the last handful of packs here in this preview box. We have Rare Shield and Buckler, Maple and Sally. Rumored player in blue, Sally. The second to last pack. Our second to last chance to find another foil here. I really do love these chibi cards. I've seen some interesting announcements for Y Shorts in Japan. There's like some sort of Marvel comic set. I thought that was interesting. Interesting choice. Wonder if that would ever get brought over here. 
don't know. That seems like a lot of licensing to go through, especially because Upper Deck makes Marvel cards over here. So not sure how that would work out. So that was pretty interesting. And then there are other, a lot of other announcements, but I didn't recognize any shows. To be fair, I haven't watched like a new anime since like 2008. So I am, I'm not a good point of reference to know how popular something is. But I was like, oh, cool. A lot of new JPY sets. So hopefully we get some more announcements for English for later this year. Because I think the Elysiaization, I hope I'm saying it right, by the way. I think that was slated for October. So we still got some time. But we have another foil here. Looks, oh, hey, look at that. One box magic. We have Longsword Kasumi. SP in the last pack. Very cool. And like I mentioned, this was a loose box. Uh, for a while, Weiss wasn't seemingly so popular here at the shop. We've changed that with the upcoming release of Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, we ordered a lot of that, and then, of course, a lot of Slime Volume 2 and whatnot. Uh, but with some of the other sets, uh, we kind of missed out a little bit because Weiss wasn't as popular here. So Bossman started having me order one full case, one sealed case, and then one extra box. So we have the one box for preview, one loose box, which this one was. And then a sealed case for if we wanted to rip it for singles or whatever. But it looks like this here on Strictly Broken is 124.29. So very cool pull here. Longsword Kasumi SP. Always love pulling SPs. I actually started photographing some of my Weiss foils on my personal card collection Instagram. I don't think it's linked down below, but it is at Allie's Collectibles. Did put my two seek. I have two of my four secrets. I have all four, but I put two of them up from the Card Captor Sakura set the other day. Just because I was like, I don't know what to put. Let me put some Weiss up. I love Weiss foils, so very glad to see that pull there. So that's cool. We had a two foil box coming in clutch right at the end with the Longsword Kasumi SP. And we also had that event bonus Maple. So one on the cheaper side of things, one on the higher end side of things here. Also, we had our promo Charisma Me deal. Then we also had five double R's, Loving Sacrifice Maple, Multicolored Sally, Young Genius Kanade, Longsword Kasumi Regular Art, and Saint Misery. And then I'll just pan through all of our regular rares as well like the kind of prismatic foiling this set has. I like that also Weiss switches it up. Not every set in a row has the same style of foiling on the rares and whatnot. Makes each set have a different feel to it. Not necessarily unique because sometimes it is reused, the style, but I like that it's not all the same in every single set. But that does it here for our first ever Bowfooty box opening on the channel. As I mentioned, we do have a live break of three boxes coming up tomorrow night for Andin, so hopefully I can channel the same luck I had here and grab Andin an SP or two or three. That would be kind of crazy, but three boxes, you never know. But that's very cool to find here. So I'm curious to see what comes out of that case, and I'm excited to open up more Weiss for you guys, because I just, I love looking at these cards. Like I said, not familiar with the show, but I love this animation style. Seems very cute, very soft, so I like that. Some humorous pictures as well. So I really like taking a look at all these new Y sets. But that does it here for this opening. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to go on ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me. Leave those down below. Would you recommend, if I ever have free time, to go ahead and watch both footy? Let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you join us. Make sure you go on ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here, I do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. We do have a lot now, so I'm bringing up a different cheat sheet here. We do have seven Black Label fans now, and then Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter, Epicenter Gaming, excuse me, Kira Soltari, Sean Epp, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have 12 Gem Mint fans now. Alberto M, Anthony Basileo, Chicago Infinity, Chris Rivers, D, Von, Dusty Archuleta, Derek Geek, Jake Ryan OC, Joe Howe, Michael C, Scorecard Collectibles, and Sinvicta. But thank you so much to all of our channel members, and all members do have their name shown screen at the end of every single video. But that does it for me here on Weiss tonight, but that doesn't do it for me tonight on Bushiro Products. Do I have a box of the brand new release also from today? Cardfight Vanguard Overdress, brand new Cardfight Vanguard series, Genesis of the Five Greats, which is the first booster release for Overdress. So that's exciting to check out. Character design is by my favorite mangaka group, Clamp. So... Curious to check that out. The only Vanguard I've ever opened here on the channel has been that Bang Dream set, which I knew a little bit about Bang Dream because I have some friends that love the game and collect different uh, of the girls there. But I still don't know much about Vanguard, to be honest. So I'm curious to check out that product next. Maybe I'll be encapsulated by the clamp art, and maybe I'll start playing Vanguard. Who knows? So I'm excited to check that out next. But that does it here for the Bow Free opening. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and hope to catch you in the next video. Bye!